Right, balance chemical equations for each of the following. So the formation of sodium chloride from its elements. So let's start with sodium chloride. So formation of, so that is what we are making. We're making that from sodium metal and chlorine, which goes around in pairs, which means I need two of those and two of those. The reaction of calcium oxide. So calcium oxide, group two and group six, so two plus and two minus plus nitric acid, you just have to know that one, gives calcium nitrate, so calcium's two plus, nitrate is one minus, so I need two of those, and then a metal oxide and an acid gives salt plus water. And I need to go through and balance these, which means I would need two nitrates, or if you're doing it via macho, um, it'd be the any other element that means I would need two nitrogens. Part C, the reaction of sodium carbonate with phosphoric acid. So sodium is in group one. So I need two of those with a carbonate because that's two minus. With phosphoric acid, you just need to know that one. Gives uh, sodium phosphate. So sodium is group one. Phosphate has a three minus, which means I need three of those. And because it's a carbonate, I need carbon dioxide and water. Um, so uh, when I'm balancing these, so when I go through with the macho, I'm going to um, I'm going to end up balancing uh, one uh, multiples of it. Let's just go through it. So uh, macho. So the metal here is sodium. So I've got two over here and three over here. So I need to times this by one and a half. So one and a half sodiums, so that's three there and three there, so that balances. Any other element is the phosphorus, so I've got one on here and one over there. Carbon, I've got th uh, one and a half here, which means I'm going to need one and a half here. Um, and then hydrogens, I've got three on the left, two on the right, so again I'm going to need one and a half there. And then oxygens, um, one and a half times three. Now this is where it gets tricky. So um, at this point I'm going to double everything through. So in fact I'll just change colour and overwrite it. So I'm going to have a three here, two there, two here, three there, and a three here. And then the oxygen should be easier. So three threes are nine. So I've got nine there. Uh, two fours are eight. That's 17. And then two fours are eight. Two threes are six. Plus three here. So eight plus six, 14, 15, 16, 17. And that balances. So a bit of a tricky one to balance, but... That's why we're doing A-levels. Okay, so three, two, two, three, three. Just tidying this up so that you can see them. I think it's easier to see the red over there, so I won't tidy that up anymore. Question number two. Uh, the formula of the acid used to make the following. So I've got SO4 here. SO4 is two minus, so this is going to be H2SO4. Uh, NaNO2, so this is going to be the acid. So if sodium is 1 plus, then NO2 is going to be 1 minus, so that's going to be HNO2. What do we mean by the following? So an acid is a proton donor. Although at this point we've probably got it as a hydrogen ion. And then the relative atomic mass is the Weighted average mass of all isotopes relative to one twelfth of carbon twelve.